What's going on guys? Alex here at 14 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Tuya Knives Kaladin. So this is a knife that was loaned in via the Lefty Pass Around. Um, shout out to Kevin for always you know adding and giving us really cool knives to check out. Um, I know I've said it so many different times before but I would not have gotten to check out probably you know the last 30 of 35 knives if it wasn't for Kevin. He's always putting in really good stuff um, and I definitely can appreciate getting to check out some really cool models that I would never buy myself. Um, and I definitely, you know, always appreciate you, Kevin. So if you ever watch this, thank you, buddy. Really do appreciate you. But this is the Tuya Kaladin. Um, and this is a design by Skeleton Blade Works. So Jim, um, I believe this is his first design. Um, I'm not, you know, super familiar with Jim other than I know he's just kind of, you know, another big knife YouTuber or bigger knife YouTuber, um, you know, big enough for me to know his name and stuff like that. But there is the SB logo on the pivot right there and of course it has some titanium bolsters marbled carbon fiber inlays with a um, milled titanium pot clip this is a bolster lock has a big sort of eh, worn cliff style not worn cliff sheep's foot drop point uh it's, it's a different blade shape nice and long and thin and kind of narrow um has a nice thin edge on it flat grind um decently thick stock though you definitely can you know has a little bit of chunkiness there, some jipping right there. Um, there is a Tuya logo, and this knife is an S90V, which is really nice. Um, S90V has been, I've sort of, you know, been reviewing a lot of knives, production knives with S90V on it recently. Um, and this is following suit. But for how big this knife is, I forgot to jot down the uh, blade length on my page, but I think it's like 3.5, 3.6 inches. Um, for how big it is, it's very lightweight, and I know the... Um, uh, the milling of the titanium to add carbon fiber definitely takes down the weight on this but because there is no internal milling um it's just you know slabs of titanium but of course you have a lot of it shaved off to fit the marble carbon fiber um you of course have a backspacer with a lanyard post right there on bearings um the blade is hand rub satin which is really cool especially on a production knife um i think that's a really cool touch and i think that's a why a lot of people like this knife. Um, obviously, it looks really cool, and it's you know it's a good knife. I really like the knife, um, but I think the hand rub satin was a, a big draw for a lot of people because you don't see that a whole lot on production knives. Um, unfortunately, all these are sold out right now. I still will leave a link to the listing on Tuya's website. There are eight different models, um, including this one, and they are all sold out. Um, so hopefully, maybe in the future, they're going to get another run of them because I think they they went pretty fast, and I think uh, they were pretty popular with uh, the community, but. Um, I also did not write down the other eight different models, or excuse me, seven different models. So if you guys are interested, uh, definitely go check out the um, website down below to, uh, you can still view all the different options. But, um, yeah, so I think that's all for materials. So we're going to jump into action next. Of course, you have a nice big flipper tab up here with plenty of jimping on it. Um, and that's the only way of opening, opening this knife, which, ooh, as I dropped the knife and I did catch it, but, um, that almost hit me where a knife should not be hitting somebody. Um, but you have a flipper tab, and I'm not a huge fan of flipper-only knives. I don't think I have any in the collection. I'll take that back. I, I do like them, but they have to be very, very well done. They have to be very good, um, and I'm not going to collect a lot of them, but every once in a while, I can appreciate one. Um, and um, this, is, this is really good. I like this for a flipper-only knife. The detent is tuned very nicely. You can do a push button. Or you can also do a light switch. Um, I can't even get the D10 out. There we go. I mean, it's it's not the snappiest I've ever handled before, uh, but it's just enough to be very nice and uh, crisp when it comes out of its break, especially because of how big this blade is. I mean, it's not, not a small blade, 3.5, 3.6 inches. So it flies right out of there. I mean, yes, you can you can fail the knife. I'm not going to say sit here and say that you, 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 know, you can't fail it. Of course you can. Um, so the the detent's not, you know, fail-proof, um, but you really have to be kind of not really giving enough gas at all and kind of trying to fail the knife. It just, it, you know, you pull it out of your pocket, you, you reach for the flipper tab, and you pull back, and it's going to fire. Most often times than not, nine times out of ten, you might get a misfire here or there um, or, like, an almost lock-up, but um, overall, it's very good. And the bolster lock has some nice jimping there on the... Um, titanium and you get some really good access and this knife is just butter smooth uh, of course with that bigger blade you're going to get very nice drop action but when I mean, you guys can see drops hits my nail the flipper tab does drops hit my nail 
and just, I mean, just me getting my thumb out of the way, it almost drops home and all it takes is just the slightest little boop turn and it, it just closes. Um, so as action goes for flip rolling knives, closing action on this is just phenomenal. It is really, really good. Um, and I, I mean, I have fidgeted with this a ton just because of how, I mean, how, that's just, it doesn't take much action at all. It's locked up very, very tight, you know, very, very secure, no blade play. And it's still doing that. Um, I don't know. I know Kevin had this from the very beginning. I don't know if he happened to put maybe like skiffs or something like that in it, but this thing is just butter smooth. Um, I can even, you know, you can even do like the, okay, close it, get your thumb out of the way, and it just, that's even fun and a little addictive to do at times. You might catch yourself on the finger once in a while, but I mean, just ridiculously fun to fidget with. Um, action on the Tuya Kaladin is 10 out of 10. Would recommend fidgeting with one of these big bladed beauties. So next up, we're going to talk about Ergos. The Ergos on this knife, which, you know, Big knives tend to be very, very comfortable in hand just because that's that's just the nature of things. You have more room, you have you have more space to kind of chill out and hang out with your hand on it, but um, you do have sort of a forward finger choil. It's not really, I don't know if it's really meant for that. You can use it in a pinch, um, but I think your, your, your normal grip is back here. Um, the blade shape, I mean, excuse me, the handle shape, pretty much straight right here. It does have some swelling in the middle and then it tapers off towards the back, but it's very comfortable. You have a nice natural restriction point right there with the um, with the guard for the flipper tab. So you can get all four fingers on here very, very easily. With the pot clip being milled, it's not causing much of a hot spot at all. I mean, I can barely feel it. Um, some jipping right up here on the top, which my thumb lands just on the edge of. So it's very, very comfortable. I get a nice little added security touch there. Um, uh, excuse me, push, or, so I can't talk, push grips, push grip, push cuts works very well. You guys don't have to excuse me, but you know how my, my random um, intuitive thoughts jump into my head sometimes, but um, push cuts works very well. Pinch grip works really well. Um, I really like the blade shape. Like it, like I said, it's kind of a, kind of a sheep's foot, kind of a worn cliff, kind of a drop point, kind of a spear point. It's like all those had a baby and this is what happened with this knife um, or with this blade. Very, very user friendly, very usable. Um, very utilitarian and like i said you can choke up but it's not really again this is just more sort of a um guard for the flipper tab you can choke up in a pinch but i really wouldn't be doing anything hard use up here because you might slip off onto the blade and you would cut yourself um but you know i'm going to talk about it anyway because you can use it uh, very good grip up here my hand or my thumb extends the whole way out here probably you know three-fourths of the blade very very comfortable that's really good grip for push cuts. But um, again, I wouldn't really re recommend doing too much cutting with this or too, you know, hard use cutting with this just because you might slip off and uh, cut yourself. But um, so ergos are good with the Kaladin. Next up, I want to talk about carry. Um, and for how big this knife is, I don't have a weight. But again, with those, um, cut, you know, re relief cuts put on here so you can put the marbled carbon on, definitely takes the weight down and I really can appreciate that. Sits down in the pocket. Um, I don't love the pocket clip. You know, you have about this much knife sticking about your pocket. I don't love that. Um, I think maybe, you know, you could have sort of moved the knife up a or the pocket clip up a little bit, but that's just how the way the handle is shaped. Um, and that's how knives are in general with, you know, handle shapes like this. Um, you just tend to have more sticking up out of your pocket and that's okay. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not gonna, you know, I don't love it. I'm not gonna commend them for it. But um, the pocket clip's honestly probably my least favorite thing about this knife. Uh, it works well, but I don't love, like, I feel like it's kind of long. Um, I really feel like they could have done maybe a little bit shorter of a clip and somehow configured it around to get a little bit more deeper in your pocket. But again, that's just me nitpicking it. it might not bother you guys. might bother some of you. It is what it is, but I'm just telling you how I feel about it. Um, aesthetically, it looks good, except for it being a little too long. Uh, you know, long pot clips tend to just have a little bit of an annoyance with me and I don't know why that is it's just I've always had that but um, you know it sits down in your pocket pretty good um, except for it's sticking up out of your pocket it goes in and, in and out of your pocket very well um, you just kind of pop it over the lip of your pants um, you do have a flipper tab so if you're down there getting chapstick coins um, anything like that you do have a risk of you know catching on a knife and pulling up out of your pocket um, but the jimping is not overly aggressive so you really don't have to worry about it too much you're probably just going to bounce right off of it and continue on with your day 
Um, no, no, no shame there, but um, the clip is righty only, so I forgot to mention that. It is not a reversible clip left to your righty, so that's a little bit of a you know bummer. I feel like they could have you know tapped a few screws and just put a filler tab in there for lefties, but you know it is what it is. Um, I don't know if you just wanted to keep a clean show scale uh, or not, but I don't know what the uh, what the reasoning is behind it. But that's just another little thing I wanted to toss in there for you guys. So carry could be better, but definitely not the worst knife I've ever had. I've never you know definitely not the worst knife I've ever carried or put in my pocket before. Um, just not you know. Not my cup of tea with the with the long clip, and I feel like it could be a little bit more deep carry, but um, to each their own. So that leads me to my final ah, bah, bah, bah. that leads me to my final category of price point and would I recommend this knife. So like I already said, the um, Kaladin is all out of stock. There are seven different other options. They are all out of stock, but I will still leave a link to the Kaladin down below in case they come back in stock. In case they decide to do another run, um, definitely go check out Tuya. Um, to his Instagram page, their website, and Jim's Instagram page, and his, um, Insta or, uh, excuse me, his YouTube. Um, I'll try to leave those linked down below if I remember to do it, but um, that'll be where you want to get all your up-to-date info on this knife if they're going to be doing another run or uh, restocking the same models, but um, the price I saw for most of them were $250. You might have had a little bit more depending on what your specific version was, but I think $250 is a very fair price for this. Um, Tuya is a very good OEM. I've had in a Big Belly before, and more recently I had in an NV4, um, NVV4 with S90V, um, and sort of a similar blade shape with this. Um, it's different, but it was um, a one cliff with thumb studs, and Tuya just kills it with the action. Uh, fit and finish is also very well done, so I think 250 for um, S90V hand rubbed. That's another huge thing, hand rubbed S90V, titanium bolsters, bolster lock with marbled carbon inlays, um, you know, you're getting a lot of knife here, 3.5, 3.6 inch blade. So it's definitely a big boy. Um, I think that's a fantastic price. I think that's a fantastic, honestly, it's kind of a value if I'm being honest. Um, you know, I could see this knife being sold at 300, 325, 350, somewhere up in that price range. Um, and I still think that's a decent price for it. So the fact that you're getting this for 300 or excuse me, $250 sub $300, I think that that is just a really good price. Um, and honestly, maybe I, I like this. Um, I like the blade shape. I like the action and everything like that. So maybe in the future, if Jim ever decided to do like a mini model, like a three, a three inch blade or like a 3.15 inch blade, 3.2 inch blade, I might have to jump on that. Um, I just don't love big knives. I don't, you know, I don't carry a lot of big knives. So I'm going to pass on this one specifically in my collection. Um, like I said, if he ever decided, Jim, if you, if you're watching this, if you ever decide to want to make a mini model, I would definitely be, you know, in on that. I think that's a really good, um, option i think a lot of people would like that as well you know if it's not being so big but um you know with this being a big knife i still think it's a really good knife it's comfortable um just the closing action like that is just so so butter so smooth um you know can't can't complain at all about it um in fact you can't complain you can rave about it because that's how good it is so um yeah i think that's a good knife i think it's a good price and i think you guys should go um, unfortunately can't buy one from the website but if you guys are interested definitely be checking out um, you know, different, um, different clubs on Facebook, different, you know, groups on Facebook. Um, you know, maybe a Reddit, um, post might pop up with a Kaladin. Um, it, you know, if you guys are a fan of the, the way this knife looks and you're a fan of big blades, I think it'd be worth it to track one of these down because it is really that good. And I, uh, am going to hope for a mini model in the future because I would definitely pick one of those up, but uh, I'm going to wrap this up now, guys. So this was my full review on the Tuya Knives Kaladin designed by Jim Skelton over at Skelton Blade Works. Huge shout out to Kevin for loaning this out to the lefty pass around. Always appreciate you, Kev. I know I say it in every video with a knife I get from you, but I'm going to keep saying it because I, you know, still appreciate you still, you know, still putting out for um, us smaller channels. So uh, leave a comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts on this knife? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it looks good? Do you think it looks bad? Um, I'm here to say, I think it looks good. Just a little bit too big for me, but fit and finish is on point. Action is just mm, chef's kiss and uh, yeah, great knife. So, Thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a fantastic... Uh, wouldn't be an 814 EDC video without a stutter in the outro. But I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.